Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to convert fractions into decimals. So the first page I want you to follow along with me and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own and then at the end you can see how you did. So here we have the fraction 3 quarters and when we convert 3 quarters into a decimal it ends up being 75 one hundredths. So this, the, the way, what's happening here is we have a division box and if you notice the numerator, the 3, is put inside the division box and the denominator, the four, goes on the outside. Maybe, maybe you've heard the saying before, uh, top dog in the box, or in, in the house. So let's write down top dog in the house. So in this case, the three is the top dog, and the three goes into the, into the house. And then once you have it all set up, you bring the decimal straight up, okay? You don't move it to left or right, you bring it straight up. And then you say, can four go into three? Okay, and the answer is no, so we're going to put a zero here. And then because it can't go in, then you go right to the next two digits. And you say, can four go into 30? And the answer is yes, and it can go in seven times. Okay, so four goes in 37 times. So now you multiply them. You say seven times four gives us a 28, right? And then you subtract, and then you say 30 take away 28 gives us a two. All right, so four goes into 30 seven times with a remainder of two. Then, if you follow the arrow, you bring a decimal straight down, and you get 20. And then you say, all right, now, how many times can 4 go into 20? And that answer is this 5 right here. So 5 times 4 gives us a 20, and then 20 take away 20 is 0. So because there's no remainder, that's really nice. That means our decimal is going to be a terminating decimal. It's not going to repeat or keep going. So let's make sure that this makes sense now. All right, well, 3 fourths, I know, is more than one half. So I know one half would be two fourths, right? So three quarters on the normal line should be right about right about here. And our decimal is 0 0.75, which is going to also be right about there. So that is definitely uh, the correct solution. All right. So now that you understand how to convert fractions to decimals, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problem now. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do with these practice problems. So the first one, we have 3 eighths, right? So 3 eighths, I know, is less than 1 half. So our decimal should, have, should be less than a half. So let me create the fraction box or division box. And I know top dog goes in the box, right? So three is going inside. So it's going to be three point, we'll do a couple of zeros or three zeros. And then eight goes on the outside. And now can eight go into three? The answer is no. Can eight go into 30? And the answer is yes, it can go in three times. Now we multiply. Eight times uh, three is 24. And now we subtract. 30 take away 24 is six. And now bring down a zero. So how many times can 8 go into 60? That will be 7 times. 7 times 8 gives us 56. And then subtract. 60 take away 56 is 4. Bring down that other 0. And then 8 goes into 40 5 times exactly, which is nice. Because when we subtract these, we get a remainder of 0. And that's a good thing. That means our decimal terminated, and there it is. So if I was going to put this on the normal line, 3 eighths would be, I know it's going to be between 0.3 and 0.4. So it's going to be a little bit closer to 4 tenths than 3 tenths. So I'm going to assume it would be right about there or so. So 3 eighths would be right about there. All right, the next one, 5 ninths. Well, 5 ninths I know is a little bit more than half because if it was 5 out of 10, uh, that would be half, right? So let's create our division box here. And top dog goes in the box. So this would be 5.000. And remember, you can always add as many zeros as you need to. It doesn't change the number. And then the 9 goes on the outside. So now we have to um, figure out, can 9 go into 5? The answer is no. Can 9 go into 50? And the answer is yes. Bring decimal up, right? And that goes in 5 times. 9 times 5 is 45. We're going to subtract. And that will be 5. Bring down a 0. So now we have to say, how many times does 9 go into 50 again? And that's going to be another 5, right? And then 5 times 9 is 45. And if you're noticing, we're doing the same thing again and again and again. So this decimal is repeating. So that's going to be a 45. 
and we could do this forever and we'd never get to the end of the, the decimal. So our answer is going to be just 0 0.5 repeating. All right. And again, we, we want to estimate that this is going to be more than half, right? Because 5 out of 10 is, is a half. So 5 out of 9 is more than half. So if I was going to place this on the normal line, it'd be right about, right about there. And there it is. All right. How'd you do?